What's going on? It's your boy D Nails at allhiphop.com, and I have the beautiful Kay Valentine. Yes, Kay Valentine. Right I don't, because you. you know, some people have Valentine, Valentine. Right, right. So I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. It's like yes. the holiday. Yeah, it's okay. just pronounced so it's like, it's like, like the, the holiday. holiday. Yep, Kay Valentine. Great, man. Pleasure for you coming to visit us today at allhiphop.com. How you feeling? I'm feeling blessed, and thank you all for having me. I feel like that's the typical. When you ask somebody how they doing, they'd be like, blessed, right? Blessed. That's blessed. a good thing, that's though. A good thing, though right? I really truly feel blessed. And you know, why are you a, feeling blessed today? I woke up. Amen. My mom did as well. You know, my family good. It's, and when I say that, I'm me they healthy we Good. here we alive we all spoke or communicated some way some form today so you know it's a lot of stuff going on but i'm i'm blessed i am that's what's up man i'm glad to hear that thank you now we could tell by the accent that you're not a new york girl we no. can tell okay so where are you from talk to us about who is Kate valentine where do you come from and what are you doing here in new york city today okay well of course i don't, I don't have an accent just to clear that up okay everybody around me have an accent <laughs> i don't this is how everyone should talk but no I'm from, <laughs> I'm from chicago born and raised on the south side of chicago um yeah i'm a girl who has always expressed herself through words i started um writing poetry as a child um, and it was usually doing trying times in my life and i had also developed a great love for music specifically hip-hop and so um just as i got older my poems started to transition into to songs and now I'm a hip hop artist. Now you're a rapper. <laughs> I'm a rapper, and I'm here in Chicago. I mean, I'm here in New York because um, this Friday, April seventh, I'm dropping my very first album. It's gonna be called Here for a Reason, and so I'm here. You know, it's like a press week for me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dope, dope. So we're gonna we're gonna get to the album part. Okay. Let's dig a little bit more into your background. Of growing up in Chicago, mm -hmm. South Side, especially now, everybody feel like Chicago is a, is the Middle East right now, as far as that's what they call it, Chirac. Mm -hmm. Um, growing up in that that environment mm -hmm. did, did that influence your poetry now you're rapping or now your music let's say you start off with poetry now you're doing music mm -hmm. did that have any influence on your music um not the yeah i would say more recently than anything mm. um not when i first began but yeah i actually have a song it's called anti shirek where i took the shirek beat Nicki minaj and g herbal you know, and I and I kind of flipped it, speaking um, about what's going on and how it's something that shouldn't be glorified. Because, you know, I was just telling my sister the other day, I have to constantly pray, you know, and ask God to soften me because I feel like I'm getting numb. You know, it's it's so much killing, and it, it happens so often. It's like somebody could call me like, "Hey, you know, this person got shot. They killed us," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." May they rest in peace. It's like it don't even penetrate me as it did before because it happens so often. So, you know, I don't ever want to be insensitive to that. But it's 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 crazy. All right. Dope, dope. Now, Chicago seems like it's like a either you're a drill music rapper mm -hmm. or you're a rapper who can really, you know, come with the substance. Mm -hmm. Where do you fall at? Are you like in between? I mean, I've, I heard some of your records and I feel like you were more so on the lyrical side if you ask me thank you um so is that the lane that you because you got your uh chance to rappers mm -hmm. you have you know your kanye your bj the chicago kid mm -hmm. and then you have your g herbals your little babies right you know so it's like a mixture of both either you you talking about drilling somebody or you actually t you know rapping about a message now for those who don't who haven't heard any of your music mm -hmm. what would you tell them what would you fall at in between that category so two categories I would say I'm somewhere in between. I don't talk about drilling, you know, mm. at all. But I do have my I have my music where I specifically like, you know, I'm conveying a message. Then I have I would say it's consciousness mixed with a little hood, sprinkled with a little ratchet. Mm. You know, it's okay. it's a mixture. You know, women we're um, you know, men like to call us. They like oh, y'all so emotional, y'all crazy, y'all don't know if y'all feel this way or this way, and it's true. You know what I mean? And so my music reflects, you know, every aspect of me, you know, as a woman. You know, you're going to get something that may empower you on one track. On this track, I might be talking about something sexual. You know, on the next track, I might be, you know, uplifting black men. You know what I'm saying? So you get a, it's a well-rounded, you know, project. Got you. Now, um, me, me and a friend of mine was talking, actually, a uh, videographer, uh, here today we're talking about females and rapping mm -hmm. and how 
females who rap about violence mm -hmm. is like somewhat of a, a turnoff, you know, mm -hmm. from, for dudes. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've seen the Notorious B.I.G. when Little Kim, that scene when she first rapped for Big, mm -hmm. the movie, and she came off gang, she's like, you got to rap a little bit more sexy. Dude, mm -hmm. when you're sexy. Have you ever dropped a record that was kind of on the violent side and, and had somebody pull you to the side like, hey, you know, you're a pretty chick, you should rap more about pretty girl stuff? Or do you pretty much keep it from where you feel inside and it just comes out and you don't let anybody sway how you make your own music? Now, to answer that, I've had people, it's crazy, I've had somebody say, you sound too conscious, you're too lyrical, don't nobody want to hear that, nobody's going to understand it. And then I've also had somebody hear a sexual track from me and they say, you know, people are going to look at you a certain way, you shouldn't, you know, speak like that. But how I do it is like, whenever I hear a beat, I always say the track the beat starts the song and I finish it. And I just let it happen organically. Whatever comes is what comes. I don't let anybody sway me either way. Got you. So you ain't letting nobody tell you how to make cook your cake. You cooking, oh, mm -mm. You cooking that cake however you want to cook it. You ain't got your own ingredients. You ain't worried about nobody else's ingredients. Yeah, because the reason, you know, I initially started writing, it wasn't for other people. It's a blessing that other people listen and it touched, you know, it touched them, but... I write for myself, you know, it's their, my therapy, therapeutic for me, so, you know, if they like it, they like it, they don't, they don't, but I still have to get it out and how it comes. Okay, now as being a female in hip hop, do you feel that right now the space in female rap is a good space for you to come in and, and do your thing? Do you feel like the female rap game is finally resurged and coming back with a vengeance, or do you feel like you guys aren't still getting the same respect as, you know, let's say your male hip hop artists? No, we ain't getting the same respect. You know okay. what I mean? I think it's a good time. I think <laughs> I trust God's timing. So if this is, you know, this is the time I'm finally finna drop my album, you know, it, it'll. I feel like it'll all come to place. But no, we don't get the same respect. And just amongst the females, it's crazy because the guys, like, they, they kind of pitch them against each other. You know what I mean? Like, you can have all these male artists. They work together. They shout each other out. But it's like it just, it can only be one queen or one woman at the time and that doesn't make sense to me you know what i'm saying like we can all be successful you know what i mean like do you feel it's the guys or do you feel like it's a female war i think if this is a male dominated industry and i think i think the guys have a lot to do with it you okay. know what i mean i think females are females you know i'm but i'm not like that you know what I mean? As a female, I'm able to recognize another young lady's beauty and her talent and I feel intimidated because I have my own. And I, I, I was raised in a house full of pretty girls. So it's like I'm just, you oh, know so what I'm you, saying? So you're accustomed to being around pretty I'm used females, to it. Right? I love being around <laughs> beautiful, talented people. So, um, yeah, I think the males have something to do with it because, you know, if you notice, male crews, they... They have a hundred niggas and just one female. You know what I mean? Right. With oh, this the first lady of this first lady. You know what I mean? Instead so. of having a, a, a hundred females and just the one dude, right? But right. I don't think. Or, or I, not, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm it, just it's saying more than one. It's like it's always like it just has to be one right. when it comes to females, and and why? You know what I'm saying? Like. We, do we have to all wait for Nicki Minaj to go have a baby before they let's allow somebody else to blow up? Right. You know? Right. It's crazy. I feel you. I feel you. Know, I mean, that's always a, a, a good conversation to have because mm -hmm. I just feel like, like you said, although it's a male-dominated space, mm -hmm. but I feel like when females come in, like you said, everybody has to be number one instead of, and honestly, everybody should want to be number one, but. Instead of it take being a sport way, they turn it to a more personal vendetta where females are just going back and forth instead of them coming together and trying to take over this whole. Because I feel like there's enough dope females artists right now. If you guys decided just to let's have a meeting and decide to come together, you can make some noise in this. Like some real, real noise outside of, like you said, just your Nicki Minaj who holds that, that queen title right now. Yeah, because women, we are more powerful than... <laughs> Than y'all, yeah. to be honest. You know, you know what they say you know what to what put saying? the power like, is hope. If women really like, if nothing becomes hot until we like it first, like men follow us. You know what I mean? What we like, what we think is interesting, with all of that. Like if women really stuck together, specifically black women, mm -hmm. like look how powerful we are with the circumstances, just in life. You know what I mean? The things we go through. Um, our men, a lot of them not being in a home. You know what I'm saying? We step up and we take over shit. So imagine if we actually were more unified. You know what I mean? Like, 
Let it take over the world. <laughs> I hear you on that. So now that we got, you know, the female politics out of the way, mm-hmm. right? Let's talk about you and your music. Now, you were founded by Talib Kweli, if I'm not mistaken. Talib Kweli, um, I met him. He had a show in Chicago, and I went to the show, ended up backstage. We exchanged information. He allowed me to come by and play some music for me. I mean, for him. <laughs> he, he ended up liking what he heard, and we. Um, he asked to, he said he wanted to um, put out a mixtape with me. And so we put out Million Dollar Baby, and we've been working since. And so we partnered with um, Javoti, which is his company. It was started by himself and his beautiful manager right there, Donna. And they pretty much, it's it's an independent company. They Mm. do everything pretty much from the kitchen. Um, And, yeah, they signed me to do this, to release this album. So, yeah, for a reason. Now, how was that the first time actually getting to sit down and playing some of your music for somebody who has such a big imprint on this industry? Um, where, where was the vibe like dope from the jump or did you, he had to warm up to your music or did you come in and just took over, take over his uh, whole attention? It was like, yo, I got to get her. She's dope. I got to, you know, do some work with her. How was that experience when you first met him and uh, played was, some of your music? It was cool. You know, I, I went in to the hotel room cause they were at the, they were having this um, little party at the hard rock mm. and he, um, he just plugged my, put the aux cord on my phone and just started playing the music. And he had his band members and, you know, some of his other friends in there. And he didn't say anything. He just put the music on. And I think he did that because he wanted to see what the reaction would be from the others that were in the room. And they were like, you know, damn, who is that? Who is that? And he pointed to me. He was like, that's her. And they was like, that ain't her. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, because I don't think that I looked how I sounded, you know, on the tracks. Right. But um yeah it was dope. He he I had his attention and he told me afterwards he said, "K, you know, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I had no expectations." He said, "But I really like what I heard and I'm gonna be in touch." Dope, dope. Now, were you a fan of his music prior to? Uh you're a big fan of his music prior to. Obviously, you knew who he was and you Yeah, you I was a the fan, knowledge yeah. of his music. Okay. Which is even doper, man, because now it feels like you're you were rapping for somebody that you grew up listening on, if I'm not mistaken. So to have that opportunity you know, that's definitely a once in a lifetime experience. It seems like you cashed out on that. Yeah, I was. Uh, I, I love Talib. And mm-hmm. now, working since I've been able to work with him so, you know, like closely, mm-hmm. I've been exposed to music. Because what I, what I was most familiar with was Get By, you know. But now I, I know I was able to go back into Right. You had to go yeah, back I'm and like, be like, okay, yeah. let me see what else he had. Right. And, yeah. Okay. Now, do you, does, as far as his input on your music, does he. Uh, he has any influence on how you know the, your, pro, your new project coming out, or mm-hmm. any music that you 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 drop since you and him connected, or does he let you go in there and do your thing and just play that tough love role where you ask for his opinion, he just says just drop it and see what happens. You know how, or know, does he, he had, give you? He's, he's opinionated. Okay, but does he have like, nah, girl, listen, we got to move this around. You got to say this, and stuff, you know. No, he. But you know what he? But for being um, honest. He does pretty much let me do my thing. He does have his um, his critiques and his input. Sometimes I go with it. Sometimes I don't. Okay. But um, yeah. Does he uh, reprimand you if you don't? As far as like, girl, why did you do it this way? Is he just like, all right, well, you know, you want to take my opinion? That's you know, that's. Hey, you, it because you know what I. How can I put it? Like, okay. Yeah, she's like, I want to be honest. I want to say what I want to say. No, no, he, he's super cool. He let okay. me, at the end, when it's all said and done, it's, it's my choice. Got you. But, you know, he does give me his input, which I respect because, uh, you know, the man is super talented. And he's been doing this way longer than I have. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, I'll give you an example. Um, he's really into live instrumentation. And, you know, I like live instrumentation, but. On certain songs, I just, you know, I just want to hear that bass. I want to hear the beat. I don't need the extra, you know. So we had a little, you know, we, it was a couple of songs he thought I sh- he felt I should do it. I felt I shouldn't. So what I did is I used it for some and some I didn't. So, you know, we compromised. Compromised. Yeah. Just meet in the middle. Yes. Let's talk about this new project, though. Is Can we expect him on a new project at all anywhere? Of or? course. Okay. Yes. I didn't want to assume, so I had to Yes, ask. Okay. yes. Here for a reason. Um, Talib is featured on a song I have called Us. Um, I have Tweet on the album. I have mm. Scotty ATL on the album. Styles P is on the album. You talking about Oops on My Tweet? Oops on My Tweet. Wow. Yes. How did yes. that come about? 
Well, I had heard a beat. It was a beat from a producer, Chicago producer, Seasick. And in that beat, he was using a sample from her song, Beautiful. Yeah, from Southern Hummingbird. It was beautiful. And that was one of my favorite songs. So when I heard the beat, I was like, I got to use this song. And then, like, on the um, hook, it was her. Like, he had her voice sampled. And so I wrote to the song. And then I was in London um, with uh, Talib. And I was playing the music for him and Span, his DJ. And um, it was Talib. I did. Talib was like, you know what? Instead of using a sample we should get tweet on the actual song because he had a relationship with her and i was like oh my gosh are you serious are you serious and yeah it ended up happening um then she came she went on tour because she dropped the album uh called charlene last year she came to chicago and i was able to go back and meet her and everything and she told me how much she loved the song and she was happy to be a part of my journey so that was like full circle for me like a blessing how many people could say they got a song That's with what tweet? When you like said tweet, it, it, I had to pause. I mean, you kept going. I'm like, you talking about oops on my tweet? I, yes, you know, tweet. That was a record. That was a really dope record. And I felt like you said tweet, tweet, death. That album. I remember. I recall my um my older cousin listening mm-hmm. to that album, crazy. Mm-hmm. So I definitely remember the joints on there. And and she re- definitely had that that fan base, that following, especially yeah. from the female side. Because mm-hmm. she was, that record she came out was the first time that any woman really came out and talked about. You know, having a good time with 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 herself, right? We're not really talking about another dude being involved. Like, hey, I can love myself exactly without somebody loving me. So that's pretty dope that you got a chance to work with her on this project. Now, you said Styles P before I cut you off. Yes, okay. Styles P, um, and that was that's a bonus track on the album and um, the digital album. And mm. I actually just dropped it like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. So right. it's Soul Searching featuring okay. Styles P. Okay, and how did Style you and Styles P? Come together. Well, we were just on tour, um, the seventh tour. So it was Talib Kweli, Styles P, and myself. Okay. And actually, our very last day for that tour would be uh, April 13th in Connecticut. That's a makeup show. Okay. But, um, yeah, I got to tour with two of the dopest, realest in the game. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you know, we kind of um, we developed a rapport and a relationship. And he been hitting me with so much game. And so it was only right that we actually collabed. Nice, nice. So the project comes out Friday, this Friday, April 7th, here for a reason. Yeah. It'll be in stores and it'll be on all digital platforms. Okay, you seem excited about the project too. Yeah. Which is always a great thing. Yes. Now, did how long did it take you to put this together? Was it something that took over, over some, you know, years that you had in a cut or was it something that you did over these last couple of months? Um, I would say I probably worked on it for almost a, a year and a half. So you took Total, your time with yeah, it? Yeah, I took okay. my time with it. Which, mm-hmm. is dope, which is even better because slow cooking is better than fast. Yes. Microwavable yes. material, right? <laughs>